You're late. Nope, 30 seconds early. Good, learning to tell time. Ha ha ha. I won't be in today. What? Is Jessica now? I don't tell Jessica everything. Oh, it's like a Harvey Specter's day off kind of a thing. Should I call Ed Rooney, see if we can get Sloan out of school? Not in the mood today. Life moves pretty fast if you don't stop and look around once in a while. What do you think about Hardman running for managing partner? I think he's gonna win. Why? Because you don't call for a vote unless you have the vote. Good. We need to tip the scales in her favor. Okay, what do you need me to do? I need you to step up. You're not gonna like it. And Jessica can't know it came from me. I gave Hardman the road map to settling with Tanner. You voted for it. Haven't we done enough to Jessica? We're not doing this to Jessica. We're doing this for Jessica. We're gonna cross the line with this? We've been crossing lines long before we even ever met. You wanna to talk to Monica Eaton? Call her yourself. I called her, but she hung up the minute I said Pearson Hardman. Of course she did. She hates everybody here. She doesn't hate you. Well, no, but that's because I'm adorable. See, I can't help you with that. So why don't you try using your powers of adorability for good? Not a word. And that is not being adorable. Mike, seriously, this is not a small thing. Look, the last time you asked me to help you was about Donna, and look at how that okay, turned out. that wasn't me, and this isn't that. Monica Eaton is not Donna. Maybe not, but she still means something to me. So tell me why I should convince her to talk to someone who works at a firm that she hates. Because you don't know the real reason why she left. Monica, Mike Ross, can I join you? Chair's empty. I appreciate it. Rachel said this was about one of my old cases. This is a lawsuit that we just drew up in your name, seeking $10 million in damages from Pearson Hartman. Should have seen this coming. Five years ago, you got screwed. One way to put it. You had options you didn't explore. And you're exploring them for me. I can make what stopped you before go away, yes. Harvey will back your claim. What about Jessica? You don't need Jessica. Why are you doing this? Does it matter? No. It doesn't. I don't want anything to do with this. Last five years haven't been easy for you, have they? You don't know anything about me. I know you've been working retail. It's a boutique on Park Avenue, right? It's a good job. You're making, what, maybe 40 grand a year? This is Manhattan. Are you covering rent with that? So you're the new attack dog. Well spot. I'm not revisiting a story I spent the last five years trying to forget. <clears throat> Just take it with you. You may change your mind. If you call me, I'll come fetch. There's something I think you should know. Please. Mike Ross had lunch with Monica Eaton today. I saw him hand her a filing. And why do you think this concerns me? I just think that their meeting on the eve of the firm's vote suggests that Jessica is making a move. You've been good to me since you've been back. She hasn't. Do what you will. I expected a fight, but not a dirty one. I don't know what you're talking about. Mike Ross met with Monica Eaton. And what does that have to do with me? I'm disappointed that you felt the need to go there. I'm disappointed you think I did. You really expect me to believe that you oh, didn't- Stop right there. You know, you might fight dirty, and Harvey might fight dirty, but I don't. What the hell are you doing? Trying to get Monica Eaton to file a sexual harassment suit against Daniel Hardman? Okay, she left because of their affair, which he paid for with embezzled money. That was five years ago. And her life fell apart. I know you think you're trying to help me, but drop it immediately. Wow. That's what all this was about. Nice performance. I'm trying to help Jessica. Mike, you cannot keep me in the dark, not when you're the one asking me for help. I couldn't take the chance that you wouldn't help. You told me it was about one of Monica's old cases. You lied like it's second nature. Our backs are against the wall. I did what I had to do. And you're proud of that? Rachel, sometimes you have to cross a line to do the right thing. Wow. Harvey has really rubbed off on you. I didn't learn that from Harvey. How'd it go yesterday? 
Fine. Mike pull it off? Yep. You suspect you were in on it? Nope. Oh, now they know. I'm gonna swing us some votes. We threw Daniel's ass out once, we'll do it again. Damn right. One more thing. I'm getting Donna back. <laughs>